Hello everyone. I am Dr. Minakshi Rathi from Department of Chemistry, RNC Arts, JDB Commerce, NSC Science College, Nasik Road, Nasik. Today I am going to discuss about the isomerism in coordination complexes. Now the study of isomerism has made it possible to support the evidence used by Warner to prove that six coordinated complexes like uh, those of cobalt were always octahedral and four, co four coordinated complexes those of were mostly square planar. So before starting about isomerism, let's see what do you mean by isomers in coordination com compounds. Now isomers are defined as substances, molecules or ions which have same molecular formulae but different structures and this phenomenon is known as isomerism. In this section, the various forms of isomerism with coordination number 4 and 6 are outlined. The different types of isomerism shown by complex compounds are given here. There are two types of isomerism shown by complexes. The first one is structural isomerism and the another is stereoisomerism. Structural isomerism under this section we will see ionization, hydration, coordination, linkage, link gain, coordination position and one more type that is polymerization isomerism. While under stereoisomerism we will see some examples of optical isomerism along with geometrical isomerism. So, let's begin with the structural isomerism. This type of isomerism is due to different possible arrangements of atoms or group in their molecules. They have different ligands within their coordination spheres. Structural isomerism, they are of various types as I already told you. Let's begin with the first type that is ionization isomerism. Ionization, this name is used to describe isomers that give different ions in the solution. In other words, we can say that two coordination compounds which differ in the distribution of ions between those directly coordinated and counter ions present in the crystal lattice, those are known, called as ionization isomerism. The composition of these isomers is same. Let's see this example. The first is pentamine bromocobalt sulfate which is purple or violet in color and its ionization isomer is pentaamine sulfato cobalt bromide which is red in color. These two complexes, if you see, they have same chemical formulae, but in solution, they form different ions. This first compound, violet color compound, it gives sulfate ion in the solution, while this red color complex, it gives bromide ion in the solution. This we can explain by using this structure. See here. In this complex, there is a formation of sulphate ion, while in this complex, bromide ion becomes free. Violet complex, when it ionizes, it gives free sulphate ion, and as sulphate ions are free, they can precipitate it as barium sulphate with barium chloride, but it cannot react with silver nitrate. Similarly, red complex ionizes and it gives free bromide ion which do not show any reaction with barium chloride but these free bromide ions can react with silver nitrate and form a silver bromide precipitate. So, these two compounds, though their composition is same, but they give different ions in the solution and hence these are 
ionization isomers of each other. Some more examples of ionization isomers are here. In first example, there is a formation of nitrite ion while its isomer, it gives chloride ion in the solution. In next example, that is pentaamine nitrate to cobalt sulfate, it gives sulfate ion in the solution while its isomer pentaamine sulfate to cobalt nitrate, it gives nitrate ion in the solution. So, these two are the example of ionization isomers. One question is for you. Here you can see these two examples. So, can you please tell me these are which isomers of each other? Though their composition is same, but when these two are dissolved, the first one it gives chloride ion in the solution, while the second one it gives bromide ion in the solution, and that's why they are ionization isomers of each other. Now, one more question. Which of the following coordination compound exhibit ionization isomerism? So, one requirement for ionization isomerism that in the complex, it should have two different ions. So, here you can see that here in first case, there are only chloride ions. In second case, there are no ions. Here in this case, also there is no exchange of ions or no uh, different ions are there all ions are same while in the last option you can see that if we write sulfate ion outside then it gives sulfate ion in the solution while if we write bromide ion outside then it gives bromide ion in the solution so the last one it can exhibit ionization isomerism Another type of isomerism, it is a hydrate isomerism. Now, this type of isomerism is very much similar to ionization isomerism. This type of isomerism arises when different number of water molecules are present inside and outside the coordination sphere. That means it results from replacement of coordinated group by water of hydration. For example, see here, chromium chloride hexahydrate, it has three isomers. Chromium chloride hexahydrate, these are the three isomers. In first case, you can see, all the three chloride ions, they are present outside the square bracket and they are precipitated as uh, by AgNO3 as 3 AgCl. While in second example, there are only two chloride ions as well as one hydrate ion present outside. So, only these two chloride ions get precipitated and it forms 2 AgCl. While in last case, we get only 1 AgCl. So, in the first complex, you can see all the six water molecules are present in the coordination sphere and its color is violet. But as we go from second to third, water molecules are partly in the coordinated sphere and partly as a water of crystallization. So, color get changed from violet to grey green to green in color. Some more examples of hydrate isomerism. You can see in this example, there is only one water molecule in both the cases, but in first case, water molecule is present inside the square bracket, while in another, it is present as a water of crystallization. In second example, there are two water molecules which are present in the coordination sphere. But in another example, one water molecule is inside the coordination sphere and one water molecule is present as a water of crystallization. So, both are the examples of hydrate isomerism. Similarly, you can see the third example. It is also 
an example of hydrate isomerism. Now, ligand isomerism, the third type of structural isomerism is ligand isomerism. Certain ligands, they themselves can exist in isomeric form. For example, see here, 1,2-diaminopropane and 1,3-diaminopropane. Their molecular formula is same, C3H10N2. Only thing in Pn, amino groups are present at 1 and 2 position, while in Tn, amino groups are present at 1 and 3 position. When such type of ligands are present in the complexes, those are called as ligand isomers of each other. These ligands, when they are associated, like Pn and Tn, when they are associated into complexes, the corresponding complexes, in first case, there is Pn, while in other case, there is Tn as a ligand. These corresponding complexes are isomers of each other and these are ligand isomers of each other because their ligands are isomers of each other. Now, the fourth type of isomerism which we are discussing, which is also a type of structural isomerism, that is a linkage isomerism. Now, this type of isomerism may result whenever a monodentate ligand has two different atoms available for coordination. Let me explain by taking this example, NO2 group. NO2, it can act as a monodentate ligand, but this monodentate ligand has two different atoms available for coordination. When it coordinate with the metal, two nitrogen atom, then it is called as nitro ligands. Similarly, the same ligand, when it coordinate with metal through oxygen atom, because it can also act as a donor, then it is called as nitrito. So in first case, it is known as a nitro, while in another case, it is known as a nitrito. If such type of monodentate ligands are present, then those coordinated compounds are known as linkage isomers of each other. The more example of such this type of uh, ligands are thiocyanate ion. In thiocyanate ion, HCN, there are two donor atoms available, though it is a monodentate ligand. It can coordinate to either sulfur atom. When it coordinates through sulfur atom, then it is known as thiocyanato. While it can also behave as an isothiocyanato by coordinating through nitrogen atom to the metal. Similarly, cyanate ion, it has two alternative donor atoms. When oxygen it acts as a donor atom, then it is a cyanato. While when nitrogen it is a donor atom, then it is known as isocyanato. Here you can see, in the structure you can see, though their composition is same, but here the linkage is different through this nitro ligands. Here nitrogen is a donor atom, while in another case oxygen atom is a donor atom, and one is nitro and another is a nitrito. Similarly, here sulfur is the donor atom. So, it is a thiocyanato and in this case nitrogen is the donor atom. So, it becomes isothiocyanato. So, both are the example of linkage isomerism here. The other ligand which provides similar isomerism is again thiosulfato. There are two types of thiosulfato. One is metal thiosulfato S while another it is metal thiosulfato O. That means sulfato it has two alternative donor atoms either S or O. In this example sodium bis thiosulfato arginate sulfur is the donor atom while in this example Sodium bis thiosulfato O arginate, you can tell or you can say easily that here oxygen is the donor atom from the stem ligand. 
the next type of isomerism it is a coordination isomerism now this type of isomerism is possible when both cation and anion are in the complex for example you can see here this is the coordination isomer of this now what is the difference between this in this complex both the complex there are cation as well as anion just by changing the ligands between complex cation and complex anion coordination isomerism is possible here you can see as we change the place of copper to zinc and zinc to copper that means ligand attached to copper and to zinc get interchanged and such type of isomerism is known as a coordination isomerism coordination isomerism it can be possible in two ways in first case when coordination compound having similar central metal ion in both the complex cation and complex anion see these two example first and second in both the cases in cation and anion they possess similar atom that is a chromium what is the difference in first case all the six amine they are present and six thiocyanate they are present in anion when their numbers are interchanged or numbers are changed these two become the example of coordination isomerism the another type of coordination isomerism is possible when there are different central metal ion in both complex cation and complex anion in first case you can see there is cobalt with amine and chromium with thiocyanate when the position of this central metal ion is interchanged or you can say when the position of the ligands are interchanged we get the example of coordination isomers so these are the example of coordination isomers the next uh, the uh, okay i will take one example what is the coordination isomers for the this compound hexamine cobalt and hexacyanochromate so here just by interchanging the ligands from cobalt to chromium we can get the coordination isomerism a coordination isomerism is involved switching the metal between cation and anion sphere in first case you can see cobalt is there in cation and chromium is present in anion just by shifting cobalt here and chromium here we can get see here now chromium it comes in cation and cobalt it comes in anion now these are the coordination isomer so here hence hexamine chromium and hexacyano cobalt they are the coordination isomer of this just by changing the place of the metal ion now the next type of isomerism is coordination position isomerism this is a special type of coordination isomerism and it is shown by breached complexes it just involve different placement of ligand in the breech complexes see here in this example this is the breech this is one side and this is another side just by changing the number of ligands from one to other side you can see here there are two chloride ion just by placing one chloride ion here and one chloride ion this side we get the coordination position isomerism that means it just involve different placement of ligands or different positions of ligand now again see this example here this is the breech complex okay and this side four amine and there four aqua just 
by placing uh, changing the position places of amino and water molecule we can get the coordination position isomerism the last type of structural isomerism it is the polymerization isomerism this isomerism it occurs in compound having same empirical formula but different molecular weight and the molecular composition are multiples of the simple stoichiometric arrangement see in this example these two are polymerization isomers of each other now you can see in both the example there is platinum amino and chloride ion and they are in the ratio of a simple stoichiometric ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 2 similarly in this example here in this compound cobalt amine and nitrite they are in the 1 is to 3 is to 3 ratio so these are the polymerization isomers of each other so here we have finished seven different types of structural isomers now let's see some questions related to this which we have just discussed first question is out of the following which is hydrate isomerism example there are four options given it is very obvious and clear where you can get the hydrate isomerism in b and c if you see there is no water molecule present either in the sphere or out of the sphere so these are not the options while in option a you can see that in first case all the water molecules are present in the square bracket while in second example the position of water molecules are different five water molecules are present in the sphere while one water molecule is present as a water of hydration so the answer is these two are hydrate isomerism now second question is what type of isomerism is present between these two example whether it is a ligand coordination linkage or ionization again here you can see after ionization this complex gives sulfate ion free while this complex gives chloride ion free though their composition is same but only their ionization pattern is different and hence these are ionization isomers of each other okay so now let's begin so already we have discussed all structural isomerism as i told you isomerism it is of two types in complexes one is structural isomerism and another is stereoisomerism so let's begin with the stereoisomerism stereoisomerism it is also known as space isomerism now when two complex compound containing same ligands okay same ligands which are coordinated to the same central metal ion when the arrangement of ligand in the space is different then such complex compounds are known as stereoisomers of each other and this phenomenon is known as stereoisomerism or it is also known as space isomerism stereoisomerism it is of uh, two types one is geometrical or cis trans or it is also known as position isomerism okay while another is optical isomerism so stereo isomerism it is of two type geometrical and optical isomerism so let's begin before starting with any type of isomerism one thing you should keep in mind that there are two common geometries for metal with coordination number 4 when coordination number 4 is there there are two common geometries one is tetrahedral and another is square planar so let's begin with the 
ज्योमेट्रिकल और सिस्ट्रांस और पोजिशन आइसोमेरिज्म विथ स्क्वेर प्लेनर कॉम्प्लेक्स है नौ इन स्क्वेर प्लेनर कॉम्प्लेक्सेस दिस आइसोमेरिज्म इज शोन बिफोर दैट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट ज्योमेट्रिकल आइसोमेरिज्म इज शोन बाय कॉम्प्लेक्सेस इन विच आइदर द सेम टू लिगेंड्स ऑक्यूपाई एडजेसेंट पोजिशन टू ईच अदर और अपोजिट टू ईच अदर मेन दे ऑक्यूपाई एडजेसेंट पोजिशन टू ईच अदर सिमिलर लिगेंड मेन दे ऑक्यूपाई एडजेसेंट पोजिशन टू ईच अदर then these are known as cis because in latin cis means same and when two similar ligands they occupy opposite position to each other then these are known as trans isomer because trans means across so here in square planar complex of type ma2b2 there is one cis and one trans isomerism is possible this is ma2 b2 type in this case m is the central metal ion and a and b are the two monodentate ligands so it exists in uh, cis dichloro diamine platinum and this is trans dichloro diamine platinum in case of ma2 bc type again here m is the central metal ion and usually central metal ion it is platinum in this case while a is the neutral ligand uh, like nh3 or pyridine and b and c are anionic ligands like chloride bromide iodide uh, like this so in this case similar groups ma2 bc type here these similar groups are present adjacent to each other so it is known as cis isomer while in this case in square planar complex similar groups they are at opposite position to each other and hence it is known as a trans isomers okay now m a b c d type again it's a square planar no complexes of this type shall exhibit three isomers now we can write three structures by fixing any one of the ligand now there are four ligands now what we need to do we can write down this three isomer just by fixing the position of any one of the ligand example say uh, we are fixing the position of br at this place and now by placing these three ligands trans to this bromine now in first case nh3 is trans to it in second case bromine its position is fixed chloride ion it is trans to this and in third case pyridine is opposite to this so in this way in example of m a b c d type three isomers can get isolated and we can write down the structure by keeping one ligand's position fixed the next type it is m a b2 type now geometrical isomers are also possible for square planar complexes which have unsymmetrical bidentate ligand m a b2 means here the ligand bidentate ligand but it is unsymmetrical see here this is ligand nh2 ch2 coo here when both the nh2 groups from both the ligands if nh2 groups they are present on same side then it is known as cis isomer when in this unsymmetrical bidentate ligand if nh2 groups or similar donor atoms they are present on opposite side then it is known as trans isomer so two isomers are possible here so in square planar complexes we have seen that in ma2 b2 there are two isomers possible that is cis trans in ma2 bc type again there are two isomers that is 
cis and one cis and one trans isomer while in m a b c d there are three isomers possible and how to write down three isomers i have already explained while in unsymmetrical bidentate ligand again square planar complex cis and trans two isomers are possible in case of m a 4 m a 3 b m a b 3 when they are square planar and all tetrahedral no geometrical isomerism is possible now why let's see complexes of type ma4 ma3 b or mab3 whether it's a square planar or tetrahedral they do not show geometrical or optical isomerism why this example is the complexes of type ma4 ma3 b mab3 have no geometrical isomers because every possible arrangement for any of these complex will be exactly same see here m a 3 b type here we have shown four different arrangements we have changed the position of b from here to here to here to here but all these four they are of same type you can't say this is cis and this is trans no it is not possible in such type of complexes that's why ma4 ma3b mab3 they do not have geometrical isomers similarly why tetrahedral complexes do not show geometrical isomerism the examples which we have discussed we have discussed only for square planar we had not discussed uh, geometrical isomerism in tetrahedral complex because tetrahedral complexes they are like this in tetrahedral complex they do not show geometrical isomerism because the relative position of monodentate ligand attached to central metal atom are the same with respect to each other see here if we these two are green and there are two orange ligands you can see these two are adjacent to each other in this case but here you can't say they are opposite to each other again they are adjacent to each other they are very nearer to each other they we they can connect with each other here also and here also so you can't see they are opposite to each other or they are adjacent to each other the molecules are always these two molecules are identical but in this square planar complex geometrical isomerism is possible because see here in this case these two are adjacent so it is cis and here these two are opposite to each other they are not connected directly so these are trans to each other and that's why tetrahedral complexes do not show geometrical isomerism now let's begin geometrical or cis trans isomerism in octahedral complexes that is with coordination number 6 geometrical or cis trans isomerism in octahedral complexes no many complexes with coordination number 6 are known and they are well studied in these complexes the six ligands are arranged around the central metal ion at the corners of regular octahedron now these complexes possesses regular octahedral structures so first we will begin with monodentate ligand and the type it is ma4b2 that means m is the central metal ion there are four same ligands and two different ligands out of six four are same and four are different so how we can write down geometrical isomerism in this case they possesses two isomers the cis isomer has two similar ligands like b2 two similar ligands on the adjacent position or at the same side of the plane when they are present on the same side of the plane or above the plane this is called as cis here also they are adjacent to each other or they are above the plane so that's why these are known as cis isomer while in this case one is above the plane and one is below the plane 
or you can see here one b is above the plane and one b is below the plane and that's why it is known as trans isomer of each other so ma for b2 in octahedral it has two isomer one is cis when two similar ligands that is b they are at adjacent position and when they are at opposite position these are known as trans isomers okay now next type is ma3b3 type the complexes of this type are also known to give cis and trans isomer for example see here the cis isomer is obtained when all the like groups like three chloride ions or three amines all the three like groups occupy the position on the same face of an octahedron same face of octahedron that is position 1 2 3 or position 4 5 6 this is 1 2 3 or this is 4 5 6 position that is facial isomer while in trans isomer Three positions are so arranged that two are opposite to each other. That is meridional isomer. Here you can see these two are adjacent, but these two are opposite to each other, or these two are opposite to each other. That is called called as meridional or trans isomer. So in Ma3B3 we get two isomers. That is cis and trans. Cis is also known as facial or face isomer in this case the three similar isomers are present on the same face of octahedron while in trans isomer any two similar they are opposite to each other okay now see here it is very clear from this example that these three they are similar they are present on same face of octahedron while these three they are present on same face of octahedron so it is a facial isomer and see in this two similar ligands they are opposite to each other that is called as meridional or trans isomer the another example of octahedral complex is m a b c d e f that means all six ligands are different theoretically in this case 15 different isomers are possible but out of that practically only three isomers are separated now again we will see some questions based on this draw geometrical isomers of here the egg in this example bidentate ligand is taken and it is of the type m a a2 b2 type m a a2 b2 type because ethylene diamine it is a bidentate ligand now see here this is the answer here you can see when bidentate ligands these are present on the opposite side see here in this octahedron they are present on opposite side then it is called as trans isomer but if they are present on the same side then these are known as cis isomers of each other so there exist cis and trans isomer now draw geometrical isomers of triamine trichloro cobalt just now we have discussed it is of the type ma3b3 and in ma3b3 there are two types of isomers are possible one is facial and one is meridional see here here three similar ligands are present on the same face of octahedron so it is facial isomer and in this case two similar ligands are present opposite to each other so it is known as meridional isomer okay one more example draw all possible geometrical isomers of m a2 b2 c2 type 
and out of this we show optical activity optical activity we have not yet discussed so m a2 b2 c2 it can show these five geometrical isomers while writing these isomers we need to keep in mind that these two in first case these two we are kept trans to each other and in another case we kept these similar very close to each other or adjacent to each other remaining ligand their positions are changed and we get these five geometrical isomers and out of these five where there is no plane of symmetry only that can show optical activity so let's discuss next stereoisomerism in that now we are discussing optical isomerism okay now what do you mean by optical isomers and optical isomerism optical isomerism you have already discussed but two compound having similar formula but possessing such an arrangement of groups or atoms in space around the metal ion that one structure is the mirror image of the other and these are not superimposable they are said to be optical isomers of each other now see here i have written the lactic acid example of lactic acid here you can see both these compounds they are having similar molecular formula similar arrangements of atoms or group of atoms only thing they are arranged in such a way that they are mirror images of each other but when i try to take this compound and keep it on this as it is they are non superimposable mirror image of of each other this phenomenon is known as optical isomerism or also called as enantiomorphism and these two compounds are known as enantiomorph or enantiomers of each other so before starting optical activity we have already seen that tetrahedral complexes they do not show geometrical isomerism in the similar way square planar complexes do not show optical isomerism why do square planar complexes not show optical isomerism so the most important point for optical activity is that the two compounds they should be mirror images of each other and second thing they should not mirror images but they are not superimposable mirror images of each other and second thing is they should not possesses any plane of symmetry i have written the answer here for a molecule to be optically active it must be able to exist in two forms or two mirror images which are non superimposable mirror images first thing second essential requirement for a compound to be optically active is that the compound should not have any plane of symmetry in its structure if the molecule has plane of symmetry the object and the mirror image will be identical and the compound will not be optically active square planar complexes have plane of symmetry which comprises the metal and the four ligands and thus they are not optically active because it possesses plane of symmetry and hence their mirror images they are identical now let's begin with the optical isomerism in octahedral complexes of type ma2 b2 c2 type okay now in this case you can see these two compounds which has different two uh, two two similar ligands they are mirror images of each other so if one is cis here it is a cis isomer both are cis only thing one is dextro rotatory and another is levo rotatory isomer 
एम ए बी सी डी ई एफ अगेन इट पजेसेस ऑप्टिकल एक्टिविटी बिकॉज इट्स मिरर इमेज दे आर नॉन सुपर इम्पोजेबल मिरर इमेज तो इफ वन इज डी आईसोमर अनदर इट बिकम्स एल आईसोमर एम ए ए थ्री टाइप बाइडेंटेट लिगेंड सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ लिगेंड हियर यू कैन सी दीज टू नो डाउट दे आर मिरर इमेजेस ऑफ इच अदर but they are non superimposable mirror images of each other if i try to keep this on this they are non superimposable so maa3 type also possesses the optical isomerism one is d form while another it is a levo rotatory form so last is maa2 b2 type means two bidentate ligand and one monodentate ligand here also we can draw non superimposable mirror images like this so these are optical isomers of each other because they do not possesses any plane of symmetry and that's why we can write them in a non superimposable mirror images form so thank you once again for being with me during the journey of isomerism in coordination complexes so i am dr minakshi rati once again say thank you to all